Welcome to a 30-minute spa yoga video. Find yourself a comfortable and quiet place and find yourself in a comfortable seated position. When seated, you can allow your eyes to close, sitting up tall, and begin to relax the space around your shoulders, the space around your jaw. We'll begin to find a steady breath, noticing the sensation of your inhales and exhales as they flow in and out of your nose, letting it be a calming and grounding breath. Begin to set an intention for yourself for this practice, or perhaps it's for the day or the evening ahead. And with your intention in mind, we'll take another full breath in and a full breath out. In your own time, just gently begin to allow the hands to come back down to your knees. And we'll begin to lift the chest up with an inhale into a cow-like position, and then exhale back as you round the spine, coming towards a cat-like position in the spine. Following the breath, move between these two shapes. Inhale to lift and exhale to round. And just on your own, you'll gradually allow this movement to get smaller and smaller. Moving with the breath and eventually finding a place of a nice neutral spine. From neutral, we take the same thing with the head, tilting, tilting the chin up as you breathe in and then down towards the chest as you breathe out, beginning to find a little stretch in the neck pausing anywhere that feels good and just gradually letting again this movement get smaller and smaller until we land into a nice neutral long neck. From here we begin to take circles with the spine so dropping all the way over to the right rounding forward and around and back so just circling here through your back taking your time just exploring any places that you can release a little bit of extra tension and then in your own time we reverse direction allowing the breath to really inform the movement and helping to land you within your own body. In our own time, we find neutral, inhaling the arms up overhead, and with your exhale, bringing your hands forward through center. Find yourself through a tabletop position, hands and knees. From here, we find some cow and cat. Inhale to find that arch of the spine, just like in seated, and then exhale to round as you drop the head down taking your time to flow between these two shapes. Begin to wake up and stretch out through the back body. You're welcome to stay right here or begin to walk the knees back a couple inches more. As you inhale, press back towards a child's pose and then as you exhale, drop the hips forward so you get a stretch through the hips, lifting the heart and flowing between these two positions, dropping back with the breath in, rounding forward, stretching with the breath out. Couple more on your own. Again, feel free to pause if something feels good and you can use a little extra time. And as you're ready, we press our way up and back, downward facing dog. Allow yourself a little bit of movement here, maybe bending one knee at a time or rocking the hips side to side. And then as you come up onto your tiptoes, drop the heels off to the right, getting a nice side stretch. And then the other way back up through center as you let the heels draw down and then just a gentle walk forward as you find yourself in a forward fold taking any variation of the arms here that feels good to you and beginning to work with your breath to release any tension in the spine or in the legs each exhale you find a little more depth here feel the breath moving through the whole body and inhale to find a halfway lift, really lengthen out your whole spine, draw the shoulders down the back. And then we rise all the way up to standing as we reach the arms high and draw hands into heart center. Tadasana, our mountain pose. And then inhale, begin to reach from here, arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, take the arms into a T. The right arm reaches back, the left arm reaches forward. Stay or take a bind, draping the right arm behind your back, reaching the left arm to the sky and peeking back over your right shoulder. Back through center and we take it the other way, arms to a T or perhaps the bind as you reach one arm high and the other behind your back. Letting each breath create a little more space here in your twist. 
An inhale brings us back through center and an exhale to dive forward over your legs. Inhale to find a halfway lift, flat back, and then exhale to draw yourself forward. Again, inhale, lengthen out. Exhale, pour over your legs and then step back, down dog. Taking a full breath in and a full breath out. Pressing down through the hands and the feet. Length through the whole spine. From here, we begin to lift the right leg and stack the hips, bending the knee, taking any movement, maybe you lengthen and then re-bend your right leg. From here, it's a step of the right foot forward between the hands and allow the left knee to come down to the mat. With your fingertips tented, just begin to rock forward and back so you get a little stretch in the crease of your right hip, taking your time. As you're ready, knee lands over ankles and you can begin to reach your arms up to the sky, coming into your low lunge. Stay right here, perhaps take the hands behind the back and give a little press of fists into low back as you find a beautiful lift of your heart and your chest. Breathe right here. We find our twist again, the right arm back, left arm forward, just like we did in standing. Maybe you'll take the bind, wrapping the right arm behind you as you reach the left arm to the sky. Hands will plant. And then from here, step yourself back to your table. Inhale to your cow pose. Exhale round deliberately, cat pose. One more time, inhale, arch the spine, lift your head and your tail. Exhale to round. Belly draws in as the head drops. Coming back through center, begin to bend your elbows, lower your chest and your chin to the mat. Come all the way onto your belly. We'll widen the hands off the mat, elbows point up, and inhale to lift the heart and chest, wide cobra. Exhale, drop left shoulder as you look right. Inhale to rise through center, and then exhale other way. All the way back through center, breathe in. Maybe find a little more space. Exhale, lower yourself down. And from here, the hands will move by the ribs. Press your way all the way up to a cobra now. Maybe arms begin to lengthen. Lower yourself down and then press yourself back here, either to a child's pose or if you prefer, a down dog. Come back to your full and steady breath in. own time to your down dog we take our three-legged dog on the other side the left leg lifts you can begin to bend the knee allow the hip to open you might lengthen and bend that left leg exploring some space a step of the left foot forward this time the right knee lands and we begin to rock forward and backward just getting some space in that crease of the hip arms begin to sweep up here for your low lunge and then again hands can come behind your back as the fists press into the sacrum and a little lift of the heart and chest shoulders slide away from the ears shining light through the center of your chest take it to our twist this time right arm forward left arm back perhaps your bind as you reach the arm to the sky each exhale twist a little more deeply. As you unwind, let the hands plant, and then from here back to down dog, inhale, cow pose, arch the spine, exhale, round, cat pose. And again, inhale as we arch and lift, exhale, a beautiful rounding. Coming back through center, once more bending the elbows as you lower all the way down to your mat, untucking your toes. Inhale up from here for a cobra, lifting, peeling the chest. Exhale, we start to lower all the way back down. Again, up and back, down, dog, or child's pose. Follow your breath. Start to bend the knees deeply so we allow them to hover just above the mat. We take that a couple times, bending and lengthening the legs. 
and then eventually we allow the knees to come all the way down to the mat. We walk ourselves back to sit back on our heels, reach the arms high, inhale. And then as you exhale, an interlace of your hands behind the back, begin to send your hands away from your body, lifting the heart, and then a drop of the head down towards the floor, arms to the sky. And we'll repeat that a couple times. So you're welcome to stay or come all the way back up, and then again, coming forward. Lift up onto the knees from here as we prepare for our camel prep. So hands to the low back as you begin to lift the heart and the chest. Stay here, take it to your own degree. Perhaps lifting one arm to the sky and reaching back for one heel and then switching sides. Opposite arm reaches high as you draw yourself back. And then coming all the way back down hands and knees, we'll step the right foot forward as we prepare for a lizard. So both hands inside the right foot. Maybe you'll spin the toes out to 45 degrees. Just get a nice deep stretch here in the hip. You can begin to lengthen the spine as you inhale and then round a little, drawing gaze towards your belly as you exhale, taking that a couple of times. Eventually land in a neutral spine. Right hand can come right to the right thigh as you begin to take a twist over the right shoulder. Stay. Or you might begin to reach back around for the left foot as you deepen your twist and take a quad stretch. As you release the foot, you'll plant both hands. Let me find just a nice step forward into a malasana as the left foot steps outside the left pinky, elbows press into the knees as you sit tall. Breathing here right into your hips, perhaps the eyes even close. You could stay or crawl the fingertips forward to find a little bit more of a rounding in the spine as you drop the head down. Let the hands plant as you parallel the toes. And then take hold of the big toes with thumb and first finger as you draw everything forward, maybe a bend to the knees here. Let the waving of your breath slowly deepen you a little further forward into your forward fold. Inhale to lift. And then roll ourselves all the way up to standing. Big reach of the arms as you breathe in. Hands draw into your heart as you breathe out. A beautiful inhale to reach the arms to the sky and an exhale to fold forward over your leg. Inhale from here to your halfway lift and then as you exhale and plant your hands it's a step step back to your downward facing dog. Beginning again to bend and lengthen your legs here so the knees just barely hover and then after the third time let the knees land walk yourself back to your heels once more reaching the arms high with an inhalation and then interlacing hands behind your back. Press the hands away from you as you start to drop the head down towards the mat. Stretching into the shoulders, using your breath to create a little bit of space. Hands can come down as you're ready. Coming back up and then just a gentle twist. Left hand crosses the right thigh as you look over the right shoulder and switching sides. tabletop from here as you step now the left foot forward outside the left pinky, finding your long lizard, and then an inhale to lengthen the spine and an exhale to round, moving between those two shapes of your spine. Just noticing if that changes the sensation at all. Eventually you land in neutral as you turn the toes out and take your twist, left hand inside the left thigh. Stay or reach the arm back to take hold now of your right foot and begin to draw it in towards you. Eyes closed here as you enjoy the stretch. Making the foot in your own time. That's where we step our way forward to our malasana. Right foot outside the right pinky. Take your deep seat one more time, pressing the elbows into the knees, sitting tall. Deep, full breaths into any place that you feel sensation. hands plant as you parallel your toes, walking the feet in about hips distance apart. And then bring your hand 
either to your hip or to the sky as you take a twist. You might even wrap that right arm behind your back. Just switching sides, sweep the left arm to the sky, stay, or bind. Find ourselves all the way back to standing, a big reach of the arms at the top, hands into heart. Stepping feet together from here. Take a breath in and out. And then from here, bringing your gaze down to your fingertips, step by step, a mindful walk, keeping your drishti all the way to the back of your mat. So really feeling the connection of feet with the mat. We reach the arms high as we breathe in. Hold as you breathe out. Inhale to a flat back. And then as you exhale, it's a transition one hand at a time to our plank pose. Shifting forward, take yourself all the way onto your belly to inhale yourself up for a cobra, or maybe it's an up dog if you prefer, lifting the thigh. Waving yourself all the way back down. We take it again, inhale, lift, heart and chest. Exhale, lower down. One more time, inhale, reach, peel the chest up. And then we'll pause here. Pop little breaths, maybe a bend to your elbows yourself down and come all the way up and back to your child's pose. Knees can go wide. Perhaps you drape the arms along your sides and take hold of the feet with your hands. Just really feel breath flowing along the entire back body. Time. Just begin to take ourselves forward and we find a comfortable seat. You can let the feet come down to the floor, knees point up, and we'll prepare for here for a figure four. So you'll cross that right ankle over the left knee. Maybe you'll stay here or to intensify, you can always walk yourself in a little closer or wrap the arms completely around the leg. Maybe even extending the left leg long as you continue to draw the right knee into the chest. And from here, you might take some of that same cow and cat action. Inhale to lift the chest and exhale to round it back, noticing again how that might change the sensation. Stay with it or find your double pigeon, stacking the ankles over the knees. Maybe you'll add a forward fold. Four full breaths wherever you land. Rise yourself all the way back up, untangle the leg. And then you'll bring your hand to the bottom of the right foot and begin to extend your right leg long. Using each exhale to begin to draw the right leg in a little closer to you as you breathe. Here you can lower that right leg and just take a twist as the left arm crosses the right knee, looking back over the right shoulder. Breath might begin to get a little longer, slower at this point. We find a forward fold. The right knee will fall off to the right. Foot to the inside of the left thigh and begin to reach forward for your foot or maybe just tented fingertip. You use each of those exhales to maybe fold a little further. up as you're ready. And then we'll take all that on the other side, crossing the left ankle over the right thigh. Maybe you'll stay, keeping active through the feet, or you could wrap up and cradle the leg, drawing it in towards you. Take it to the variation you took on side one, adding perhaps that lift of the heart as you breathe in and a little bit of rounding as you breathe out. If you came into your double pigeon and side one, you'll take that here now as well as you stack ankles and knees. Up when you're ready. Untangle the legs as you now take hold of the bottom of the left foot. Inhale to draw the knee in and then exhale, extend your left leg any amount. Staying active through your right foot, just using the breath to slowly coax that left leg in 
a little bit closer to you. Actually letting the foot land and we come right into our twist as the right arm crosses over the left knee. unwind. We'll take our forward fold. The foot plants to the inside of the thigh as you reach forward for your right foot. Your nose towards the knee, lengthening out the whole spine. Rising in your own time. And extend both legs, perhaps give them a little shake, and we take one final fold here as you reach the arms to the sky, breathing in. Just take a moment to feel that reach, dropping the shoulders down. And then if you'd like to take it further, beginning to reach forward, perhaps for the big toes or for the feet, as you begin to draw it all forward. Bend in the knees, totally fine. your awareness moving and shifting a little more internally right now. Release, come back through upright. Bend both knees and just wrap your arms around your knees. Inhale to sit tall. And with your exhale, dropping forehead towards the knees for seated child's pose, really breathing into your whole back body. You rise from here and take Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees drop wide. Taking hold of the feet, take an inhale. And then as you exhale, if you like, you'll take a fold forward now. You can work with a straight spine or rounding if that feels good here. rise as you're ready. And then taking hold of the big toes, it's a little lean back onto the sacrum and beginning to extend the legs wide. Sending a drishti to help keep the balance. Continuing to sit tall. And then letting the feet come together one final time as you come right back into your Baddha Konasana, maybe finding a little more space the second time around. way back up. From here you can bring the feet to the floor and then just take a slow roll engaging the core all the way down onto your spine. Give yourself a nice full body stretch as you reach through the fingers and through the toes. Take up space on the mat. For a couple final closing postures we'll find ourselves close enough to touch the heels with the longest fingers. Take yourself into a bridge as you begin to press into your feet. Peel the hips up off the mat. Maybe interlacing your hands below you, walking the shoulders under you, about five breaths in your bridge pose. Lowering down as you're ready. And then take your Supta Baddha Konasana, feet together, knees wide, palms can turn up to the sky. Expansive as you feel the rise and fall of belly and chest. Figure four from here as you cross ankle over left thigh, perhaps reaching between that space to draw the left thigh or even the shin in towards you. Stay right there or extend the left leg and reach your hands Anywhere through the leg, it could be the leg, the ankle, the foot, as you begin to draw the leg in towards your face, up to your mid-back. Here, we'll take it right into our twist. As you land the left foot, you can take your eagle legs, right knee over left, drop the knees to the left. Gaze might turn to the right.
line, plant your feet. We'll take it on the other side, figure four to begin. Left ankle crosses. Stay or reach between that space of the legs to deepen. Meeting here, or if you choose, extend now the right leg up to the sky. You might begin to walk your hands up to take hold of the ankle or the foot, rocking onto the mid back. You add your hamstring stretch, moving easily, gently. Releasing as you're ready, find eagle legs, left knee over the right, drop knees to the right, arms to a T. Maybe looking out over the left hand. Actually releasing your twist, draw the knees into your chest, maybe rocking side to side or forward and back, massaging the spine. And then coming into either happy baby or maybe a straddle one more time as you reach for the big toes, drawing the feet down towards the floor. Knees can come into your chest one more time. Maybe feet come together for a Baddha Konasana on your back. And then eventually begin to get yourself set up for your Shavasana, extending your arms and your legs, finding a place that feels comfortable and beginning to allow your whole body to melt down into the floor. Noticing again the sensations of each inhalation, each exhalation, find stillness. Remain in your Shavasana for as long as feels comfortable.